spending the days on my own Then repeats this for weeks to come I don't care what I miss Cause my life is dismissed I keep searching for my bliss It took days to finally start writing songs But now it's... Hey everyone, thank you so much for stopping by my channel and hanging out with me for today's video. So in today's video, I'm going to be running you through some of my favorite must-have kitchen storage and organization items. Things that I've shown in my videos many, many times. You've seen me using them over and over again. They are absolute favorites. I get lots of questions about them. So let's have a look through my organized kitchen tour. Now these are definitely one of my recent favorite organizers. I have purchased these since we moved into this apartment and or this townhouse and there is a very awkward kind of shaped set of drawers. So for the cutlery drawer, it used to have, the cutlery drawer used to have those organizers in it. And I switched it out for this Joseph Joseph stacking cutlery organizer, which makes a big difference when you've got a small kitchen because it means you can effectively double up the storage for a small drawer to be able to hold all of your cutlery. Plus you pair it with the Joseph Joseph knife holder and then you've got one drawer taking up what used to be spread over two drawers. And this is definitely one of my must haves for small kitchen storage and organization. Next is a must do for kitchen storage space solutions. Uh, and that is to really go through your utensils, your kitchen utensils, and really design and define what you actually use and need rather than what you own. And even if you just separate out the daily used items or the items that you most frequently use, definitely at least once a week, into your easy access, your prime real estate storage, save that storage for the things that you use all the time so you're not having to rummage through a thousand different gadgets and sharp things potentially stabbing yourself to find you know the one thing that you're actually looking for this has honestly been one of the best improvements that i've made to the kitchen since being here so i went through and i just pulled out the things that i use on a daily weekly basis put those in the easy reach prime real estate area and then i just packed up the other things so that they were still easily able to be reached but they just weren't cluttering up my everyday grab and go things. In this drawer we just have all of the kitchen cloths, kitchen towels, mop pads, anything that is like a material fabric thing that you need for the kitchen. Down the bottom we just have a, a spare organizing tray. This is what my utensils used to be stored in and they were all just kind of jammed in and cluttered up. And then on the very very bottom it is the less frequently used kitchen utensils that I still want to have easy access to but I don't want to have to fight through all of that stuff to get to the things that I really want to grab for quickly and easily on a regular basis. Now I shared with you guys my under sink storage in a recent video so I'll just take you through a quick look at how it is. It's still organized the exact same way uh, and then I'll link through to the other video where I go through in much more detail. If you're interested in specifically under the kitchen sink storage I'll link through to two videos where I've shared different ways to organize. So I had to switch up my organizing style to suit the space that was available in this kitchen. I've just got my everyday essential items here. This is what I need to clean pretty much the entire house, but specifically the kitchen as this is the kitchen. Kitchen sponge, just a little uh, stash of dishwasher tabs that I've got here. I fill this up once a week and then I just refill it from my uh, bulk supplies stock here. Uh, some green cleaners. Backup kitchen cleaning supplies, scrubs, sponge scourers, a little dustpan that I've got for cleaning up any like food spills in the kitchen that I don't want to pick up in the vacuum cleaner because it can lead to a very smelly gross vacuum cleaner. And then more backup kitchen cleaners and this is just all method. So that's just a quick overview of how I've organized the kitchen. These containers, divided containers, are from Kmart and I use these all throughout the kitchen. They are absolutely brilliant. You can actually move the dividers uh, and customize them to the size that you want. These are InDesign containers. I got mine from Big W, but I think they're available now uh, at Howard Storage World, the Container Store, and Amazon. Uh, these are really great quality. I've had these for many, many years. I've also got the fridge bins in this same range. So definitely recommend those if you like the look of that. And super convenient because they're stackable and they've got a nice, a nice neat lid. And you can use them for anything in the kitchen. 
I've used these previously in the fridge to organize like cheese and entertaining type things. Um, but at the moment they just fit perfectly in that space. So that's what I'm utilizing them for. Definitely when you're buying kitchen organizing and storage containers in general, use things or look for things that can be used interchangeably throughout your house with what you've already got. So these are fridge containers from Kmart, uh, but you could use these literally anywhere. You could use them for home office storage. You could use them in the fridge here for cleaning. You could store like makeup, beauty products, anything. They're really versatile. They're multifunctional and you can just use them anywhere and because they're clear plastic they just go with anything moving over to the next cupboard that is next to under the sink cupboard and this is where i have all of my food storage containers so alfoil baking paper i don't use plastic wrap i have eliminated that from our kitchen for a couple of years now haven't missed it don't need it uh, and any piece of single use plastic that you can eliminate from use is a better step towards a healthier planet. In this one, it is just like kitchen miscellaneous bits and pieces. But the great thing is that they are stackable and they make the best use of small spaces when you've got a deep and narrow cabinet and you wanna utilize all the space right to the back. This kind of slide out storage solution is great uh, because it's stacking and it slides out so that you can easily access what's right at the back. In this top one, which is a deeper size. So they're all modular and you can get different sizes. They all stack inside of each other. This is just where I have like bin liners and things like paper lunch bags. And I do have some single use uh, kitchen items, but where possible, I always try to go for the greener uh, option, which is degradable. Then in this one, there is just the meal prep containers in the back that I use for meal prepping. I use these for lunch boxes, um, just food storage in general. And then in here, it is just where we have the kind of lunchbox size containers. The lunchbox ones are in use at the moment because the kids are at school. And then these ones I just use when I food prep up Freddy's little food dishes. Love those. Uh, these are from Kmart. I think they're in the $1.50 section. And then in this one here, I just have my glass food storage containers. So this is a food prep containers from Amazon. They're divided, they're glass, they're great for meal prepping, uh, individual serves of any meals that you want to prep up for the week. But moving on to one of my absolute favorite things that I've done in this kitchen. I've taken what used to be a laundry nook in this little area here. I'll insert a before clip. Uh, I do have a video on this whole makeover transformation where I just added this IKEA shelving unit just to effectively maximize the pantry storage space that is available in this kitchen and to be able to utilize absolutely every last bit of space. I just popped in this Ikea Besta shelf and then used it just to display all of my nicer food storage uh, and organizing containers. Most of which are from Kmart. So the glass with the bamboo lid all from Kmart. My new spice jar, uh, my new spice jar and rack is from Kmart. They are, I think they're eight jars for $5, so super affordable. These little ones with the bamboo lids, I used to have my spices in them, but they were taking up too much space, so I switched them out. Now I just use them to prep out my smoothies for the week. I have a couple on hand with all of my smoothie mix-ins uh, ready to go. And these are just some little jars prepped up with all the ingredients that I use to make oats. So it's got oats, it's got some raisins, it's got dried cranberries and some cinnamon sprinkled in there. And then the rest are just for all your regular food storage solutions. So I am definitely a big fan of the clear glass food storage organization. I love the way it looks. I love that you can see exactly what you've got, but when it is things that you can't really take out of packaging, I prefer to have them stored in these non see-through storage containers. So what I keep in those are things like you know, tea bags, which have not the most attractive packaging. Um, so matcha tea bags, normal tea bags, uh, mixed herbal tea bags. So they're really, really colorful. Uh, I like to keep those in, you know, just plain white canisters. Again, these are super affordable. These are from Kmart. They're $6 each. Up here on this Lazy Susan. So anywhere that is up high, but I want to use the most of the space, I will uh, generally put either like slide out organizers that I can pull out or Lazy Susans like this. And this has just got a mixture of things and it's just stored in some nice pretty glass containers, which again are from Kmart. There's some glass preserving jars. And then these are just the white mason jar lids that you can buy on Amazon to replace 
the metal mason jar lids that come stock standard. Moving down the pantry, I've just used one of these Variera tubs from Ikea, which I've got all throughout the house, and I just use it as a bread bin, although I do use it for different things, and I'm constantly switching up the pantry and where I store things. Another Lazy Susan here for all of the kind of oils and vinegars and backup, salt and pepper, soy sauce and things like that. This one was from Kmart again. It is a budget version of the exact same that you can find for I think three times the price at Howard Storage World or the Container Store. Again, utilizing some IKEA storage just for the potatoes and sweet potatoes. Oh, that one started to sprout. I haven't used that in a while. Uh, and then just onions and garlic. Down the very bottom shelf of the pantry is usually where I store backup stock and kind of big bulky items like chips and popcorn and those kind of things. So they're empty at the moment because I have, I'm have i due to do a shopping order, but they also hold my kids' lunch boxes and drink bottles when they're not being used. These are the Mimi containers from Storage World, so I definitely recommend those. Although if you look at Kmart, they do have a dupe version of this. I think it's just slightly smaller. Not sure, I haven't seen it because it's always been out of stock when I've gone to look for it. Up there is actually where my juicer lives when it is not in use. And then these clear canisters came from Target Australia. I have the two sizes and it's just where I place anything that I use kind of on a regular basis or that I want to see in front of me to use up. Over here in this side of the kitchen, I have a Ikea little chopping board, which is over what used to be the laundry sink, just to maximize the storage space and add a little bit more bench space. So that just holds, obviously, as you can see, the water filter, the soda stream. And then over here, we just have a metal insulated tumbler each. So we just each use that for when we have drinking water. So we're not using 15 different glasses throughout the day. Now, if we flip around, I think I'm going to have to go and get a light because it's super dark in this kitchen and particularly in this little spot. So bear with me, I'll just go and get a light and I'll be back in a sec. Just running through this as quickly as possible, I have just utilized, this is the microwave nook. I don't use a microwave at the moment, we don't have one. So I've just utilized this space to make a little appliance center. So coffee, toast, kind of breakfast, morning situation. I've got my Breville Nespresso pod machine and the little Aerochino toaster from Kmart and then all the coffee pods and things that I need to use in the morning. So I've got my coffee mugs, travel coffee mugs, my vitamins to remember to take them in the morning put right in front of the coffee so I do not miss them. And then just another glass canister from Kmart that holds all of the coffee pods. So I love having this all here contained and the great thing is that it's kind of out of sight from the main view of the kitchen. Just above the toaster and breakfast coffee station, I have in the pantry some clear stackable modular containers that I've just picked up from Target. I've had these for, I'm going to say two and a half to three years now. I bought them for my old pantry in my old apartment and they are holding up really, really well. Super streamlined, very simple, stackable. And I love the fact that the lids match each container, so you don't have different size lids for different size containers. It is just like one size fits all for lids and containers. Moving up again, and I just have all of my kind of supplements on this Lazy Susan. And then I just have a wooden organizer, bamboo organizer for all of my vitamins. And then on the top shelf, which is looking very empty at the moment, is where my uh, slow cooker usually goes and then I just have like a little decor piece up there some backup decor kitchen decor pieces up there the one thing that I love about the kitchen since I did that little makeover is that there's just so much more extra free or blank space every cabinet and every cupboard isn't jam full to the brim there's just a little bit of breathing room. In the cabinets below, I just have more of the Kmart divided rolling organizers. And that is just where I keep all of the pantry staples. And I just keep them like in different categories. So that's kind of spreads and breakfasty type things. This is just cans and jars. And then there's one with sort of more like packets and spice mixes. And then there's some coffee bits and pieces in there. And then down here is usually where we keep all of our kind of snack foods and lunchbox snacks. And then again, just more 
pantry staples. And as you can see, they keep it really organized, really easily accessible. And these are definitely really great budget, affordable options for keeping your pantry neat, clean, organized and under control. Kind of, this is one of the more recent decor items that I've put together and you'll see that there's a plug there because this is real life. We've got dinner cooking in the slow cooker over here as we film this kitchen tour. Uh, so we've just got the kettle and then we've got a Kmart canister for tea bags, some little wooden spoons that I use for making tea, this one I use for like spreading butter on, this is just a little, this one's just a little butter holder. It's really convenient because the toaster is just over there so you can just pop a little breadboard up here and then just butter your toast and keep all of that sort of contained to this breakfast area. Okay, now over this side of the kitchen, I've just got a little DIY and these are actually bamboo drawer dividers and I did this hack in my old apartment's uh, bathroom cupboard and you just stack them up vertically and you can either hot glue gun them, you can double sided sticky tape them or you can use like mounting tack to secure them together and then just pop a 3M or some tack behind just to hold it to the wall just so it doesn't topple over when you use it. But I think it just looks really nice. Um, it, it adds a little bit of visual interest, but it's also functional decor. So it's functional because it holds all of the essentials that would other, otherwise be cluttering up your limited bench space. So I love having that there. I like it, it's nice, it's aesthetic. It's, it's all in that same color tone. Some chopping boards here and then a little mason jar just full of my wooden, white and metal utensils. Again, gone through decluttered, kept only what I use and what I love to use and what I actually use on a daily or weekly basis. This little fruit bowl is also from Kmart. I think this one was $6 and I shared this in a, um, in a recent Kmart haul. But I just love having that there. It's just a serving dish, but we use it for a fruit bowl. And I think it is uh, much more expensive looking than the $6 that I paid for it. Here is another great idea to help you make the absolute most of your kitchen storage. And that is to utilize the space between your refrigerator and the cabinet. And pop in one of these really skinny dividing trolley organizers mine is four tiered i got this from a dollar store in brisbane bargain city i think it was and it's just the perfect size to hold mason jars so i've got two two different size mason jars here i've just got the regular wide mouth and then i've got the large kind of more uh slightly bigger wide mouth style here so i keep all of my kind of baking essentials in this area i'm gonna say and then i also just have my reusable straws just up here so that is just easy to grab for. Now moving on to the upper cabinets. This is where we have all of our glasses stored. These are one of my favorite organizing items ever to use throughout the house. These are some shelf risers from Ikea. They're really affordable and they just effectively double your storage space. Here I have utilized a Lazy Susan again, just to make the most of all the cabinet space. If I didn't have this Lazy Susan, all of these mugs would be back to the back of the cabinet. I wouldn't be able to reach for them. So with this, I can just swivel it around and pick the one that I want to use. And then I don't feel like everything's going to be falling down on me cold brew coffee maker and pitchers and jugs and things and then up the top is just less frequently used like specialty tea and coffee mugs. In the cabinets underneath the bench top that the stove is on I have just an assortment of things. Again this is one of my favorite organizing hacks and that is just to have your bullet blender plugged in. So, so there's a power outlet for the stove in this cabinet so I have plugged the bullet blender in so whenever I want to use it I just pull this whole thing out pop it up onto the bench top straight away and it's all plugged in ready to go ready to use and it's got all of the accessories and bits and pieces there we've got Freddy's little bowls here and then just another one of those Ikea risers in the back where I just have my glass food storage containers down below we've got another Ikea storage riser and it's got baking trays and baking bits and pieces and then there's just some like casserole dishes there and then another one of these Kmart divided storage organizers where I just have all of my baking sheets and baking pans, uh, cake pans and things like that in there. So you can just keep them all neatly stacked up and then just pull out the one that you want to use. 
nice and neat in there together. There's just one that doesn't fit in there, it's too big, and that's just the pizza, the pizza tray. So that's just uh, stands up by itself in the side there. So in the cabinet that's directly above the stove, I just have some paper towels, some wooden utensils that I use sometimes for cooking, and then just some extra oils that I use all the time. And then right up in the very top, just some extra food storage containers, some big glass ones. The upper cabinet's to the left, and this is nearest to the dishwasher, so all the things that we use on a daily basis, uh, like plates, bowls, small plates, um, bowls, all of the crockery is all in this cupboard here. And again, just utilizing the most of the vertical space with those IKEA Variera shelf risers. They are honestly indispensable. And then again, just to make the best use of the space and make sure there's no wasted storage space. Another Lazy Susan with just some little bits and pieces. So there's some sauce dishes, uh, some little like a gravy boats, milk jug, and then some egg cups there. So you can grab for them easily just by turning it around and just getting what you need. All right, the last cabinets that we've got to look through are the ones that are above the fridge and these are not super easily accessible. So I can reach the things that are on the bottom shelf. Okay, so that's where I've got all of my wine glasses. I've got some cocktail glasses, some champagne or Prosecco glasses, and that's just all up there because I'm the only one that needs to get, get to those. It doesn't need to be anything that's easily accessible for my kids. And then right up the top, I have just got things that are probably the least frequently used items. And they're things that I need to have a step stool to grab, but I keep a step stool in the kitchen anyway, so it's no big deal. And those items are just some things like barbecue skewers, some plastic cutlery, uh, picnic plastic cups, some party cups and paper straws, uh, all of my baking essentials all together, so food coloring candles, anything for like baking and birthday cake type stuff. And in this one, I just have some things like cookie cutters, biscuit cutters, sushi molds, anything that is like an accessory needed to make specialty food. And then the last one just has a hand mixer and the, the beaters for that, and also an immersion blender. So not things that I'm using all the time, but I still want to have relatively easy access to them. Okay, so some tips that I have for keeping your kitchen clean, organized, and neat and tidy under control all the time is to have cleaning routines. So in the morning, after you finish breakfast, have a cleaning routine to pack everything up, get the dishes done and sorted out. And then in the evenings after dinner, make sure that you have all your dishes done before you go to bed so that you wake up to a nice, clean, organized kitchen. One way that I've found to keep your kitchen clean and organized is to meal prep and do all your grocery and meal preparation and your ingredients prep on maybe one day a week. I like to do mine on Monday, so I will typically place a click and collect grocery order. And then once I bring those groceries back into the home on the Monday, straight away before putting them away, I will do all the prep that's required for the week and then make as many meals as possible. This minimizes the amount of mess that you create each and every night because you're not starting from scratch and using all the utensils every single day. Some of those you'll just need to use once a week when you do your meal prep at the start of the week. Another tip that I have for you is to minimize clutter that's in your kitchen and when you go for decor make it sort of things that are actually functional so you've got like a watering can I've got some hand sanitizer and a candle and then a little plant and they're all corralled in a tray when if ever I do need extra counter space for food preparation or anything it's just a matter of picking up this one tray moving it out of the way while I'm using this space and then popping it back down it makes it so easy for quick cleanups uh, and then again to move the stuff to, to make the most of the prep surfaces that you've got I do the same thing with my hand soap, my liquid detergent and my little scrubbing brush. I just keep them corralled on a little tray. It keeps it looking nice, neat, clean and organized and it also makes it easy for cleanup. At the end of the benches where I will typically have some kind of decor or like seasonal holiday decorations or something, at the moment I'm using my juicer pretty much every second day. So I've just left that out there. It just looks nice, neat and clean and then it's just a little basket of fruit and then some celery stalks that we're just propagating for our little herb and veggie garden that we started in our yard. I've also just got a little tray with some mini muffins in there. So that will just be typically used to hold whatever we've got for school lunch boxes or after school snacks for the week. Um, but it's it's kind of functional decor so it's something that looks nice and it's aesthetically pleasing but it's also serving a purpose it's not just there for the sake of it it looks like to look nice it is actually useful same goes with this 
little tray. It not only looks good, but it is serving a purpose and it has a function. So every single one of those things I am using every single day. So it's not just there looking pretty. It's functional decor. So it's things that you're actually using in the kitchen and it just gives a little bit of a pop of interest. I'm not one that likes completely sterile kitchens that don't have anything in them. I do prefer to have, you know, a few things out and about on trays and for decor just to make it look nice. But certainly not anything just to have it there for the sake of it. Another way to keep your kitchen looking neat, clean and organized is to really limit the amount of stuff that you have on your fridge. Now, I typically only have this on here. This was just here because I'm filming a meal prep and grocery haul video. So that was there just to film that with my meal plan for the week. I normally keep anything that would typically be on the front of a fridge just pinned on the side. And then on the side, I just have a magnetic notice board that keeps all of my fridge essentials. So I've got the monthly schedule, I've got a little goal sheet, and this is where I would put my meal prep meal plan for the week. Just keeping it really clean and clutter free. Spending the days on my own Then repeats this For weeks to come I don't care what I miss Cause my life is dismissed I keep searching For my bliss It took days to finally start writing songs But now It's begun today's video I hope you enjoyed my organized kitchen tour and seeing my favorite kitchen storage and organization items if you did enjoy this video be sure to give it a thumbs up it's great feedback for my channel it helps it out a ton if you aren't already be sure to subscribe before you go hang out and watch another few videos I'll leave some that I think you'll love in the description box including all the videos that I mentioned in today's video have a fabulous week and as always I'll see you in the next video bye everyone